Today in this 2018 Buick Enclave, we'll be having a look at and showing you how to install the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with a 7-way trailer connector. Part number C56393. Here's what our wiring looks like installed. Now the reason you're going to want a 7-way wiring harness like this one is that this will give you the basic lighting functions that are required by law in order for you to safely tow a trailer legally. You'll have your turn signals, your tail lights, your running lights, your brake lights, all of that. Additionally, you'll get a constant 12 volt outlet power source to charge any trailer batteries or to run any 12 volt accessories on the trailer. You also have the ability to have reverse lights in your trailer or if you're towing a boat trailer and you have an electric solenoid that cuts off the brakes for your surge brakes, you'll be able to run that properly. And if you have a brake controller installed on your vehicle, you'll be able to run electric trailer brakes and control them through this connector. This wiring harness is a simple plug and play to your factory tow package and it only takes a few moments to install. Now that we've gone over some features of our wiring harness, we'll show you how to get it installed. To begin our install, we'll open our rear hatch. Now we have two covers on each side of our hatch that we need to pry open. Let's use a flathead screwdriver. Pry it open. It's got a little tether that'll hold it in place. And we'll do this on both sides. Now we'll remove the seven millimeter screws that are behind these covers. And now below our bottom seven millimeter screw on each side, we'll find a T20 torque screw to remove. Now in each one of our wheel wells on the outer edge where our fascia meets our wheel liner, we'll have four T15 torque screws to remove. Now we'll pull back on our fender liner and where our fascia meets our fender, we have a seven millimeter screw to remove. Now underneath our fascia, near each one of our mufflers, we'll find a T15 screw that holds it to a metal support tab. We'll move both of these on each side. Now with an extra set of hands, we'll grab our fascia at the corner where it meets our fender and pull back away from the vehicle. Now on the driver's side, we do have a wiring harness that we need to disconnect. We'll do that simply by sliding this red lock tab back, push it on the black tab, and pull to separate. Now we'll set our fascia aside where it won't get damaged. So we'll take this dummy plug off by sliding back on the red lock tab, pressing down on the black connector, and pulling to separate. We'll now take our new connector, slide it onto the factory wiring, push it in until it clicks, and we'll route this over towards the center of our vehicle, and we'll just zip tie it around our hitch right here. And once we have our fascia back on, we can make our connections with the seven way. Now we can reinstall our fascia, making sure we plug back in any electrical connectors that we had. All right, now in order to gain access to our wiring connector, we'll remove this cover that covers up our hitch. Now we'll just pull it down, and you can see where our plug ended up. Now we'll take a seven pole mounting bracket. This is part number PK12711U on our website, and we'll attach it to the welded on attachment point on our hitch using provided hardware. We're flipping it around backwards to give us the most clearance for our plastic bumper cover. Tighten this down. Take our wiring, go through the hole in the middle of the bracket. Then we'll plug it in to our seven way connector. We'll stick that through. And then we'll secure it with our hardware. We went ahead and bent our bracket back a little bit this way we still have enough clearance to reinstall 
our bottom panel here to conceal our hitch and wiring. Now we'll test out our lights to make sure everything's working properly. Start by turning on our headlights. And as you can see, our tail light and running light functions working. Do a left turn signal now. Right turn signal. Our brake lights are working. With our foot on the brake, we'll run through the turn signals again to make sure everything still cycles properly. And we'll put it in reverse to see if those lights work properly. Perfect. So if we had reverse lights on our trailer, they would work fine. And our constant 12 volt here is also showing 12 volts of power. So we'd be able to run any 12 volt accessories on our trailer. Additionally, if we had a brake controller installed in this vehicle, we'd be able to run electric trailer brakes through our seven-way connector. And that completes our look at an installation of the Kurt T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with a seven-way trailer connector, part number C56393 on this 2018 Buick Enclave.